Hi guys. I had somebody ask me exactly how I record Pro Tools into OBS because they're having problems with the audio. So I thought I'd share this little short video on how to do that. Of course, you have to have Pro Tools and you have to have OBS, but there's a third thing that you need and it's called Voice Meter. It's freeware and it's basically virtual cabling. After you install Voice Meter in OBS, go ahead and open Voice Meter. From here, you're going to click on Menu and then choose System Settings and Options. Change the sample rate from buffering MME, buffering WDM, and buffering KS to whatever sample rate your project is in. Now close the window. Where it says Hardware Out, A1, choose the analog to digital converter that you're using. I found that OBS doesn't recognize the WDM codec, and so MME is the one I recommend. In the Virtual Input section, be sure that the fader is set to zero decibels. This will ensure you get the same level that's coming out of your DAW. It doesn't matter whether B is on or off, it's simply another bus. Be sure to leave Voice Meter open while running Pro Tools and OBS. Now let's open Pro Tools. I'm using an older version of Pro Tools, 10.3.6, but this should work in any version. Go to your setup menu and choose your playback engine. Right now, Pro Tools is using my analog to digital converter, the Fireface USB, at 2048 samples for buffer size. If I've installed Voice Meter, once I click on the converter, the drop down menu will now show Voice Meter Virtual ASIO. Go ahead and select that, and it'll ask you if you want to automatically save and close your session. Say yes, then click OK. I'm going to right click on the play button to make sure I have loop selected, and now I'm going to double click one of the files to highlight it, and then press the space bar to play it. Now I'm going to make the voice meter window visible. If I've done everything correctly, you should see signal. Let me explain what's going on with the routing. So if you go to setup and then you select playback engine, what you'll see is voice meter virtual ASIO being selected. That Pro Tools signal is now being routed internally via a virtual audio cable into voice meter here. The signal comes into voice meter on this channel and then is routed out through the master bus to your hardware out, which is the analog to digital converter you selected. So, so far we've got Pro Tools going into voice meter. So now we need to route the signal out from the master bus of voice meter into OBS. But first we need to capture the Pro Tools screen. We do this by going down to scenes and press the plus sign. Create a new scene. Now there's nothing in it. In order to make Pro Tools visible, you have to choose a source, so you press plus in the Sources window. Now you go to Display Capture. You can do Create New and press OK. A new window opens up, and if you have more than one display, it should be listed here. So now we've got the Pro Tools window visible along with Voice Meter. Incidentally, if you don't want to see the Voice Meter window, you can simply minimize it. Now we've captured the Pro Tools window, but we have no sound. To get the audio, you'll have to add another source, so press the plus button. Select Audio Output Capture, press OK, and for device, select the analog to digital converter that you're using. In my case, it's the baby face. Press OK. Now if I get Voice Meter back up, and I press Play in Pro Tools, I should see the audio signal going through Voice Meter and then into OBS. So again, here's the routing. In Pro Tools, the playback engine has been selected to be the voice meter virtual ASIO. That's coming in here. Then it's going out the master bus here to the speakers or RME Babyface. From here, it's going to the audio output capture, which is also selected to be the speakers RME Babyface. The signal's being sent to the hardware out, which is the speakers or RME Babyface, my analog to digital converter. My audio output capture in OBS is also the speaker's RME babyface output. So it's tapping audio off of the same bus. I hope this was helpful. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already.